It's fast, it's simple, it's delicious, perfect for the weekend. Laura from Laura's Cactus Pad is back on the show to throw together some simple pasta that we can all do this weekend. You've not been on the show for a long time and I've missed you in our I kitchen. Welcome too. back. Thank you. I've missed everybody here. Jay? I know Jay. Jay well, you got Jay's Jay's a highlight for everybody as they come in. Um, you started cooking when? When did you develop that love for making delicious everything? So I seriously think it started at birth. I was born in a small village in Mexico on the kitchen floor. That's a true story. So many years ago. And inspired <laughs> to cook and be in that kitchen ever since. Ever since. And it brings me joy, um, whether I'm happy, tired, sad, it doesn't matter. Being in the kitchen, having my music on, mm -hmm. cooking with fresh ingredients. And how fun is that when people come around, your children, family, and they leave happy. And just creating. This mm -hmm. is about joy to you and it putting is. it together. Um, is this an easy joy to have for everybody this and week? It, it, it really is. And so that's what I try to stick to is simple recipes, fresh ingredients. Um, and I have to tell you that both my children, I have two children, and they both love to cook. I have my son, who I would love to dedicate the segment to, Christopher. He's in Japan, and there is Christopher with his troop. In the military. In the military, mm -hmm. and he calls me all the time and says, Mom, give me the recipe for this. <laughs> he makes fresh corn tortillas in, in Japan. Japan. Um, so I love it. I love your Christopher. Service, thank too. you. Thank you, and thank you for this recipe. I'm sure you've given it to him. Now share it with all of us. Okay, great. So. Um, you can find the ingredient on, ingredients online, mm -hmm. but we start off with simple ingredients. Onions. Which you had a great onion tip a second ago that you shared with me. Sure. So I used to wear these big goggles, yeah. you know, because no one likes to cry for onions, right? Other things, yes. But so if you have water in your mouth while you're chopping onions, 95% of the time. It works. I'm trying that. <laughs> it I'm doesn't so, have to be water, to, but you should see me lean back. Like I chop exactly, like up here, right? so the fumes, water would be so much easier. I'm yes. trying it. So anyway, so we have olive oil, okay. butter, mm -hmm. onions, tomatoes, a little bit of oregano. I use like this little chicken. I love better than bouillon. I do too. I don't like the powder stuff so mm -hmm. much. That's kind of. Let me hold that up so everyone yep. can see what you're talking about. It's that guy in there too. Yeah. And so, fresh tomatoes. And fresh tomatoes. So you're going to like saute this. I threw in a serrano just because I like it spicy. Okay. Now, this is a bit spicy because I use this um, El Pato, which is basically tomato sauce with a kick. You know, you're a hot girl. You like to spice it up in the kitchen. <laughs> I love to create. So <laughs> if you don't like it spicy. If you don't like it spicy, then, or for the tomato kids, sauce. tomato sauce. Okay. But try it this way first, and then you could always mm -hmm. make it your own recipe. Just ease off a little bit. Exactly. Okay. Then obviously, you know, cook your penne pasta al mm -hmm. dente. Okay. Right? Because you're going to kind of twice cook, right? Once you finish um, cooking it, you're going to throw it so in it your sauce. So it doesn't need to be too soft. Not too soft, al dente. Mm -hmm. And um, then reserve a little bit of the water. I always wonder, like, why do you do that? It just thickens the sauce. Oh, add that water from the noodles Just to this. Just a little bit. Yes. Okay. So once you've cooked your pasta, you add it to your sauce, mm -hmm. and then you're going to add, this is like the secret ingredient. What and is what that? It's mint. I thought, I thought you would say basil. <laughs> I do sprinkle basil, but mint is the key ingredient. Really? The more the better. Fresh I promise mint. you, fresh mint. I promise you do not use the powdered stuff. Um, Fresh mint is the secret ingredient, and people always ask, what is in there? And it's the mint. I sprinkle some in the sauce, and then once that is done, I actually sprinkle some, you know, because it has a different, slight flavor. True. So think of the combination of, like, the, the sauces and the mint with, just, just brings out all the flavors? Yeah, so then you top it off. What with, is that? Okay, so this is like a Mexican table mm -hmm. uh, cream mm -hmm. sauce. Uh, Greek yogurt is one of my favorites, too, though. But I gotta tell you this, I, I kinda need a straw for this actually. That's how it Oh my gosh, it smells like heaven. It is, and I wanna- You get all I, drizzly in there <laughs> and I wanna take a bite. I do want you to try this though. <laughs> okay, while she's drizzling everybody, if you have an event coming up or maybe just a girls' night, this is who you want in your kitchen. She will come and cook for you and then you choose the charity of your choice to donate to instead of donating to this girl for cooking in your kitchen. I love that you're doing that because you're sharing your love for cooking with everyone and a good cause out there too. Go to her Instagram, everybody. That's how you get a hold of Laura and go to our website for this recipe, abc4.com slash GTU. We will put it all right there, but it's Laura's Cactus Pad.
Correct. And I follow her on Instagram, so head over to mine, and then you'll see me like, like, like everything <laughs> she does. It's so good to see you. It's Welcome see back. You Wait, where's the fork? Right? Somewhere? Oh we'll find my one. Gosh, Taking yes. a bite in the break. Because I've got to eat now. Next, I'm dancing like a pop star. We're shaking it in February when we come back. Cabinets and Mantle for Good Things Utah, provided by Maple Landing Custom Cabinets and Woodwork.